All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. There we go. I'm just gonna move everything down just one by one. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure this lines up as well. Alright, real quick, just to let y'all know, we have a uh, completely new website, as you can see here. So if you hit shop, we have all the categories. So if you go to user interface, as you can see. And uh, the process now should be a lot smoother to download and uh, purchase products. You have a search bar up here, and if you want to log in, sign up. But uh, yeah, with that being said, make sure to check our website at gfxcomma.com. Hope you enjoy this video. I'm just gonna be super precise with it. Just move it over with my arrow keys. I know it's not the ideal way to do it, but oops. <laughs> there we are. And now we can manually adjust it. There we go. A very big misconception that I've seen as people have made UIs is they think you need a ton of effects. You th they think you need like a ton of extra things. And for some reason, once they do implement something like that, their UIs just still don't look good to them. And the main reason for that is just being their formats off, their formats off, their formats off. It's equally as important to make sure everything fits good, is linear, everything looks neat overall, as much as cool effects count. Okay, and that should be pretty good as far as being linear. And over here, uh, we can literally just do the same exact thing we were doing before with the bottom part. We can just cover it up first. And let's make this blue or red just for now. We're going to line it up. Make sure everything has even space. Alrighty, perfect. And now what we're gonna do is rasterize this layer style. And now we can go ahead and do the gradient overlay we'd like. And so I'm thinking stick with this gray, this gray, but since we already did use that here, we can actually just stack on a gradient gradient overlay and even make it more gray and don't worry about that overhang we'll address that in a little bit alrighty perfect great great so now we rasterize this layer style and we can select on this layer down here just to see which one it is and now once we've got this we can bring it down here and we can, oops. First, we wanna rasterize layer style for this too. And bam, we have a perfect fit. Something that flows really well. Uh, the, the gradient, I believe, could use some work just to make it more apparent. So what I'm gonna do for there is undo just a bit and make this one a bit more lighter. Here we go. Now we have a noticeable gradient. A lot of the time I do make that mistake myself. I overlook the colors that are needed and 
we have something that is supposed to be a gradient, but it just looks like the same color over and over and over again. And so now we have the basic layout. And what we'll do is for this side now, we're just gonna go and make these icons. And these icons are all very, very straightforward. It's just a settings icon. And realistically, just for the showcase that we're doing right here, we can just crop this out of the actual actual display right here you can just steal the logo right off their UI I recommend usually not doing this I'm just doing it because I'm being a bit lazy right now and right here we place it don't worry guys I know the colors don't look amazing right now but we will we will we will fix that and do the same thing with this one right here Steal it right off. Ooh. And I can't find my I can't find my icon. <laughs> That, my guys, is why you should not steal icons off of other people's UIs. It is a very bad practice. Ah, <laughs> uh, the magic, the magic icon appeared, decided to show up finally. Okay, and we might actually just recreate this one. It's pretty straightforward. I just don't want to have to waste these. By the way, if you guys are confused on how to actually make these, a lot of the time, personally, I use Adobe Illustrator to recreate this, but a good way you could do it on Photoshop is literally just merging basic shapes. So like a circle, for example, it's very, very straightforward, actually. I'll show you guys in a second right here while we recreate this profile picture one. So let's go ahead and take out what we don't like on here. Same goes here. And now, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to recreate this profile picture one because I don't want to have to deal with doing all that work in a second here. So uh, let's go ahead and just place a basic circle and that will work as the head and let's make that red for now. 